Senator from Virginia. Mr. President, um, I rise today to call for the rapid confirmation of Kenneth Weinstein to be Undersecretary for Intelligence and Analysis at the Department of Homeland Security. The Undersecretary for Intelligence and Analysis, or INA, sits at a critical juncture between the analytic work of the intelligence community and the information sharing role of the Department of Homeland Security. The Undersecretary receives and analyzes intelligence and law enforcement information related to Homeland Security and ensures its prompt dissemination throughout the department, as well as to federal, state, local, and tribal departments that need this information to protect our nation. The nominee, who has been before our committee and passed out, comes with an incredible background for this position. Ken Wainstein served the United States throughout his career as a federal prosecutor, at the highest levels of the FBI as general counsel and chief of staff to FBI Director Robert Mueller, as U.S. Attorney for, D the, for D.C., and as the first ever Assistant Attorney General of the Justice Department's National Security Division, and as Homeland Security Advisor to President George W. Bush. The truth is, after a, uh, a remarkable career, he went into the private sector, and the fact that he's willing to come back and serve this administration, uh, although he was a career official on the other side, is, speaks to his character. The role of heading DHS intelligence is not without challenges, which is why we need this confirmed undersecretary. The INA mission continues to evolve and mature since its creation in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks, and there's a clear tension between its dual missions, national intelligence and departmental priorities. Some members, including myself, were very unhappy with the INA's operations in Portland in 2020 and then disappointed that the INA provided next to no warning about what was to come on January 6, 2021. These episodes clearly revealed work needs to be done to improve DHS and INA in particular. At the same time, we all know the First Amendment protects Americans' right to free speech and nonviolent peaceful protest. And our fundamental role of our government is to defend the Constitution, including these First Amendment rights, as the confirmed head of DHS's intelligence operation, Mr. Weinstein will be charged with ensuring that DHS INA keeps upholding those standards and protects civil rights, while also ensuring that INA's work is completely apolitical. To summarize, the role of the Undersecretary for Intelligence and Analysis is critical for the Department of Homeland Security and the country. Consequently, I ask unanimous consent that notwithstanding Rule 22, the, cons the Senate consider the following no nomination, calendar number 792, that Kenneth L. Weinstein of Virginia to be Undersecretary for Intelligence and Analysis at the Department of Homeland Security, that the Senate vote on the nomination without intervening action or debate, that the motion to re reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table, and that any statements relating to the nomination be printed in the record. Is there a second? Mr. President. Excuse me, is there an objection? Mr. President. Senator from Kentucky. Reserving the right to object, we learned last week that the Department of Homeland Security has established a Ministry of Truth. They're calling it the Disinformation Governance Board. How Orwellian. Now the details are scarce of this effort, but one would assume that the DHS intelligence and analysis would be part of that effort. The nominee being considered today was one of the architects of George W. Bush's administration, bulk metadata collection at the NSA. What a great uh, recommendation for him, sarcasm included, which gathered the private electronic communications of millions of Americans without warrant. Is this someone we would want to be involved in Biden administration's new Ministry of Truth? I will not provide my consent to expanding the surveillance state and the suppression of first and Fourth Amendment rights of Americans. I oppose this nominee and object. The objection is heard. Mr. President, I think we have an incredible nominee in Mr. Weinstein. He has served our government in the Justice Department at the FBI at virtually every level. Uh, I think if my colleague, the senator from Kentucky, is concerned about this, we ought to have somebody that's confirmed in this role. 
And I would acknowledge that uh, there are members who share his concerns about First Amendment rights, including one of the members of our committee, who has worked through Mr. Weinstein and was part of the group that uh, unanimously moved, voted to move him forward. Um, I'm disappointed by the objection, and unfortunately, both the security of our country and, candidly, the protection of those First Amendment rights is undermined by not having this nominee in place. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor. Mr. President, I note the absence of a quorum.